In the last video, I talked about how we can be able to detect objects in images. Now I want to talk about how we can be able to detect faces in images with AWS Recognition, Python Bottle 3, and Streamlet, and more. All right, so now what I want to talk about is the detect face function from the recognition from Bottle 3. So here you can see inside of the demo application, uh, here you can see I s upload an image, which in this case, if I were to click on detect face, and you can see that we were able to detect the face and also the location of the facial parts, for example, eyes, nose, and mouth. And here you can see we also have the details about the face. And here you can see we have the age range, in this case, is between 29 to 37, gender, beard, mustache, smile, and also other things like emotion and eyeglasses. So here, let's take a look at our code. All right, so here you can see this is our code. And here we basically define the forms like usual. And what we do here is we take the image and we try to read it from the uh, from the image uploader. And once we have the image bytes, then we de up detect the face. So here is where we're going to make the API call, calling the detect faces. And here we're specified the image bytes as well as the attributes all. And attributes all basically trying to get all the available facial attributes for the detected face. Once we have a response, we first save it into our JSON. And here you can see this is our JSON file. And this is a face details, right? And inside of face details, first we have the bounding box, which is the location of the face, as well as the, all the face attributes like the age range, the smile, eye classes, like what we saw, as well as we have emotions. So here you can see we we are detected that this face is currently 100% happy. And there's a small percentage that it was a surprise, it was a calm. And then we also have landmarks, which basically has a location on all the facial parts, like the left eye, the right eye, the mouse left, the mouse right. All right, so here you can see once we have the bytes and the response, we pass it to the process image. And then once for the process image, what we do here is we're going to get the face detail. In this case, we're only getting the first face. Uh, we're only processing one face at this moment. So here you can see for the face details, this is an array, and which in this case, we only have one face detected. So we only have one object. And then once we have our face details, we're going to draw the location using the drawing bounding box. And then we define the result details. And then for landmarks here, we're going to iterate each landmark. So like what we saw here before, that we have locations for each parts of the facial. And we and for each parts, we're going to define location and we draw a small circle, a white circle uh, on that location. Once done, we're going to return the result, like the result image, as well as the re result detail. And then we're going to uh, display this on the Streamlet page. And here you can see we have two columns. Column one display the image, and then column two we display all the details.